All right, guys, so in the video previously, we looked at Rick Grimes, and then we did a video with Michonne. That was right before this one. Right now, we're going to take a look at Travis. He comes with the same base, except for his says, Fear the Walking Dead, and his number is three. Michonne's was two. Rick Grimes was number one. The box, we're going to talk about and take a look at the sixth video in this set. That one's going to do an overall discussion on the figures and everything. Now, right off the bat, since we looked at the base first, you got to put them on it in only one foot has a peg. You got to put them on it, and you got to be careful because I at first wanted to display him looking straight out, but you can't because his foot bangs against this, and it lifts his foot. If you can see that, it lifts his foot off the peg, and it makes him unstable. So if you try to have him on the very edge, that is probably as good as you're going to get. If you try to do anything else with him, his back foot doesn't meet, you know, reach the peg or whatever. I thought a simple solution could have been if McFarlane Toys wanted to make an additional set, an additional stand. Like, you can buy a piece that doesn't have a peg hole, and if it clipped on this in a way, I mean, for crying out loud, you, they do it with kids' toys. My daughter gets these tiles all the time, and they clip together, and they're like $3 toys. Uh, anyway, if they McFarlane's, if McFarlane Toys made a little accessory pack with like 10 of these that clip on to the uh, initial base, you can have this nice big square base where you can actually display your figure and put them in different positions if you wanted to. Let's say that was the thing and you had a couple different peg holes that were in there. I don't know, it's a small complaint, but I feel like they're forcing it so much to get it displayed one way and one way only. It's like they're going out of their way to take your uh, options away from you. Anyway, that's the space the display. It's textured on top and it's got one peg hole for the figure. Now for a likeness he doesn't share an incredible likeness to the actor. That's one thing I'll say. The Fear of the Walking Dead figures, they're okay. But likeness-wise, I don't see Cliff Curtis in this figure. I see him in there. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I see Cliff. I see where they were going. But it doesn't jump out at me like the Daryl figure or the Rick figure. And uh, that's a shame. I mean, I really wish they would have done a better job. Now, here's the thing, and this is going to sound weird. Even though the likeness isn't on point to the actor, the... Now, see, there he goes. In that one position, he looked really good like Cliff Curtis. Maybe you just need the right lighting. But anyway, even though, for me, the likeness isn't on point where I look at him and I'm like, oh my god, that's like they shrunk him down. However... The likeness is still really good for a figure. Like the sculpt. The sculpt and the paintwork. I think it's done very well. And I like the uh, stumble they have on him a little better than, better than Rick. I had an easier time picking out a figure that looked good. Now he's got a plain shirt. Uh, really plain. I kind of wish they would have waited for Series 2 or maybe got some early production videos or images from Series 2. and uh, Season 2, sorry and we got that. This is kind of plain. Um, I think he even had a better outfit in season one, if I'm not mistaken, and they went with this one, so I'm not sure why they did. Maybe it's because it was in the beginning, but he does share the same flaw as Daryl Dixon, these very ugly uh, cuts in the thighs. I don't know if you can see it, but he's got a gap in his, and all of the figures there for Travis had a very ugly gap in the thigh, and this is the best one. All the other ones were literally, if I can do this without breaking it, all the other ones were literally like that in the package and it was hideous. So anyway, you got some good detail. Now here's the thing with him. His feet don't have articulation. I thought they did, but they say you can kind of turn his feet and you can't. You want to line them up so the figure doesn't get all out of whack with the uh, sculpt and the paintwork. So you want to line him up and then he should stand okay. Now with some of the figures they have articulated uh, feet which helps them stand. Travis does not. Now he bends at the waist I think but it's very minimal and he's got some decent detailing again with the clothes. McFarlane Toys does a good job with that. Uh, but his arms this is where you get the most articulation we get on in any color tops. This is where you get the most articulation so far from one, two, and three. He has these, uh, 
well hidden, I'll give him that, because of the coat, the articulation's well hidden on his shoulders, and he has these uh, gears on his elbows. Now, sadly, because of the way they sculpted this one, it's either this one or the other one, I think it's this one, you can only get it to move uh, in a very restricted way. Now, his wrists only swivel because there's only cuts there, if I'm not mistaken. But the good thing is you can get Travis, and this is a slight variation, but this is how sad it is for the Color Tops collectors. <laughs> they get so happy because there's a slight variation in just like lifting the gun up in different ways and trying to get it posed. Like, uh, let's say you want him holding his gun kind of up and down. It's, that's as good as it gets. I'm, I'm shitting you not. That's as good as it gets for the uh, Color Tops collectors. It's either that or you take the gun down. Let me do this without messing this. Uh, or you hold them like this. You know what I mean? But at least you get the choice of doing something like this, which I liked having him on display at first like this, or like the box uh, like this, something like that. But anyway, we'll look at a shotgun in a second. His wrists swivel. That's about it. And then his other wrist has the same little bit of swivel. It goes all the way around, but you got to work it. And then with his wrist, this is what I mean by the articulation. Can you see the articulation, how it waves? Not the articulation, the sculpt, how it's wavy with the shirt design. See the waves right there? Well, on some of them like this, there's a really big wave in the shirt, a really big sculpt in the shirt and that really hinders the articulation like he can't straighten his arm out even it's always going to be bent a little bit because that uh, articulation that sculpt is there I don't know why I keep calling it articulation so he will never straighten out his arm all the way that's what I mean by some of these figures even the five inch ones they are very restrictive in that sense some of them not all of them it's rare for the five inch but it is there and this guy if you have him Right here, it feels like he can actually bend his arm more than if you just turn it a hair. Now that wave is going to keep it from bending, you know what I mean? And it's only a little bit, so it's not that big of a deal. And Travis has a bulge in his neck, so it's going to be like Rick Grimes, where uh, it's going to look ugly if you try to have him turn his head any other way than it's meant to be. Which is disappointing, really, with Travis, because I wouldn't mind him looking off to the side, uh, holding his gun. I think that would have added a cool pose posing option, but they take it away by adding that um, ugh, that bulge there. Anyway, here's a Travis figure. Well, let's take a look at his gun before we move over to uh, Madison. I believe she's next, but there's good sculpt on the gun. It's a very plain paint on the uh, shotgun but I don't want them to exaggerate it. I want it just like the show. And I do believe it is, uh, is that, wasn't it a double barrel in the show? No, this is probably it. I'm sure they didn't mess that up. Yeah, because Danny Salazar is the one who actually shot it. But Travis is the one who gets the figure with it. <laughs> All right, so that's Travis and his boomstick. We're gonna take a look at Madison next. So if you wanna take a look at Madison, go ahead and Follow the videos right on over to Madison or click the I somewhere up here. You can find Rick's video, Michonne's video, Travis's video, and we're moving right on to Madison and Beth. You'll see when we get there. Subscribe now.